Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have my activewear tops and bras that I have been working on. I have a gigantic pile of things in my lap. <laughs> Okay, if you've been following along at all with the weekly vlogs, and those are the videos that go up on Wednesdays, they are a week's worth of me just casually going on, sharing what I'm making, um, sometimes some tips and tricks, uh, me very casually, I'm never, I never have makeup on. <laughs> Um, chatting to the camera, that kind of stuff, but they're my videos that go up on Wednesdays and they're um, just me coming on and off the whole previous week, so the previous Wednesday through Tuesday. Um, but I have been sewing through some activewear. Uh, my activewear drawer was in a very sad state and needed a complete rehaul, and I did an activewear plans video, um, I guess probably back at the beginning of June, I'll pop a link up to that video there, um, kind of in the, the vein of doing modules basically, but with my activewear. Now, I did v deviate off of this a little bit, mostly because as I started making things up and actually looking at the tops I have in my lap right now, good lord, I, I go for a long time. So I'm kind of glad I called it when I did. Um, and I've decided to use the rest of the activewear that I'd purchased for this, um, for this, the sew along for um, some golf clothes that I'm going to be making myself. It's the same type of fabric that I'll be using for those. So um, that will be coming up probably the end of August, beginning of September. I'm just going to make myself a few golf outfits um, because my family and I have started golfing again, um, which is very, very exciting. And, um, Oh, I've got so much stuff to show you all. Okay, <laughs> so let's dig in. I'm gonna try and do this by patterns. I reused quite a bit of patterns, mostly because that was easy, um, but I definitely added a few more patterns as time went on, even patterns that aren't necessarily meant to be activewear patterns, um, just because I kind of liked the way that they looked with um, the leggings and that sort of thing. So to give you an idea, my active lifestyle is basically uh, walking and I do like a power walk. Um, my husband and I do a whole lot of uh, long walks and that kind of thing which is kind of my cardio and then for strength training um, we actually just started swimming some laps at our pool a little bit but uh, mostly it is yoga pilates and Pilates. I have to be very careful with any kind of high intensity workout. I have some autoimmune issues, I've talked about it before, but I can very easily develop joint and um, issues and tendonitis with repetitive motion. So any kind of, um, you know, lifting, doing repetitions of any kind of lifting can um, aggravate that. Um, definitely any kind of um, um, high intensity cardio, running, um, jumping up and down, that kind of thing can really tear up my knee and hip. Um, it's just something that I've had to learn to deal with with my body. So I have to be very gentle on my body. So that's kind of the active lifestyle that I lead. So definitely not anything high intensity because um, I do have a large bust. So when we're getting into the bras, that's kind of why I think I'm able to get away with the type of bras that I made. Um, yeah, for that, because I, I am more low intensity. Okay. So yeah, it, it evolved, I guess, as I started to get into things. Number one, I was able to make a ton more um, items, I think, out of my yardages I had than I originally had thought. I pretty much purchased either a yard and a half or a meter and a half, depending on where I was um, ordering, of all of these fabrics. So, um, yeah, everything that is of the same fabric kind of all came from um, a yard or a meter and a half, depending on where that came from. Okay, so where do I want to start? Let's start with bras. I ended up only making four, or three, sorry, three sports bras. Um, mostly because they're all kind of neutral. I'm just trying to wondering how I'm gonna do this. I have a lot of hangers in my lap here because I like the way things look on hangers to show you all. We're just gonna kind of put this, look at all this. These are all the tops, just the tops. Okay, so. <laughs> I started off, I made all of the bras from the um, Power Sports bra pattern from Green Style Creations. Now, um, I'm going to be popping up pictures of me actually uh, wearing a lot of these just so you can get an idea of what they look like on the body. I love this pattern so much. I've made it for my daughter and for myself. I love it because it has a whole bunch of different variations. Um, so you can get, you don't get sick of the same bra, basically, um, and a lot of strappy options and that kind of thing. So this is the navy blue that I made. This is a um, activewear knit that I got from the Fabric Fairy. I will link, if the fabrics are still available, I'll link them with the um, patterns down below. So definitely go have a look uh, down below. 
Also, the description box is the writing right underneath the video, and usually you'll just see a couple lines of writing, and then over to the right, it will say either show more or there'll be a down arrow. If you click on that, it will um, extend that whole description box, and usually there is a ton of information down there. So uh, definitely go have a look if you're, if you're curious. So this is the Power Sports bra, base, the most basic one. Um, it's just a racer back bra. Um, I would consider this a compression style sports bra. Um, the back is lined in self fabric, the same fabric as the rest of the body, and then the um, front of the bra or the, where the, the cups is lined in a black power mesh. Um, which just gives a lot of support. And then we've got an inch and a half wide elastic here at the bottom, and I find these very supportive for what I need to do. Um, I made a, let's see, I have, I'm 33 inches under my bust, so I made a 34, it has you round up. Um, or maybe it said 33, 34. I use the 33, 34 band, I think, because um, I am 33 inches underneath my bust. Now my full bust is 40, so that seven inches put me in a G cup, I believe, for their pattern. I think that's right. I have a seven inch difference between my under bust and my full bust. Fits perfectly. I've also made this for my daughter and hers also fit perfectly with that measuring. Um, so yeah, it's a really good pattern. So I made three of these. I made this one and this fabric and these are all out of fabrics that I made. Um, well, I made leggings actually out of all the, and some other stuff too. I made this green one also in the um, Racerback, it's the same style as the um, blue one. And um, yeah, again, I, I did the black power mesh for there. I top stitched this one. Um, I did not top stitch the blue one. I kind of prefer not to have the top stitching, to be honest. So this was the first one I made. And um, yeah, it worked out. And then I made the blue one. And then I decided to um, have some fun. I really liked the strappy versions that they had of this sports bra, but I was a little worried about support because I am such a large cup size. Um, where is the bra? But I had the bright idea, which I think actually worked really well, to put um, bra elastic into my straps um, instead of just regular elastic to help, because that bra, um, bra elastic is very um, firm, um, just to kind of help. And I think it worked really well. So I made this one in kind of this rust color. So this is the crossback strappy version. There's a U-back and a crossback. The U-back is really cute. It goes, it's got like um, the straps that come down and also go in here, so there's different layers. Um, Anyway, it's hard to see without being on the body, so I will hopefully have shown you, or am showing you footage of me actually in the bra, so you can um, kind of see what it looks like. Anyway, um, I really like the way that this turned out. However, turning these loops with the bra elastic inside of it was a bit of a nightmare. It took forever. My fingertips were so sore when all was said and done. Um, so I think maybe a little bit, if I had you know, maybe change the bra just a little bit for my size of bra strapping to make it a little bit wider so that I could make my straps just a wee bit, bit wider than what the pattern called for. I think that would have helped. I think it was just a little too snug maybe inside the fabric. But love the way this one turned out. It's super supportive. I think that's the key for me doing strappy um, is to uh, put bra elastic inside mine. Or bra strapping, I guess. I think that's what it's called, bra strapping. So yes, and I'm also now out of bra strapping because I use it on this bra. <laughs> so those are my three sports bras, and I think honestly that that's probably good for me for now. Um, you know, I don't need a ton, so there were those. Okay, what do I want to do next? Let's talk, well, we'll talk about this one because I only made one of these. So this is the Green Style Creation um, Elevate Crop Top and Overlay. It's a, uh, I didn't make the overlay, I just made myself the crop top, which basically looks like a long line sports bra. And honestly, I really think this is not lined, it has bands on the front, but I think that if you were to line the front, if you have a smaller bust and you lined the front with power mesh, I think you could get away with this being a um, long line bra. So, um, you know, that's just, my two cents. Um, I did make this and I think it could use, uh, it's a little short for my liking. I think I could have um, given myself a little bit more length there to be, to make it come a little bit more to my waist to where I didn't have like hardly any stomach poking out or even so just a teeny, teeny bit. Um, 
And I was going to do more of these, but and then I ultimately decided that I didn't think that it was... I preferred some of these other tighter fitting tanks better on my body. So I made the one. It'll get worn, um, especially with some of the tops over it, but that's... yeah. There is the Elevate crop top. Okay, next up, so speaking of more of the fitted tops, I, in fact, even in my um, uh, plans video, I didn't really talk about this top much, and then I, where is the other one? Here's that. And then I um, remembered this pattern that I had it and made three of them. So, <laughs> so this is the um, Cashmere Spruce Tank. So when I bought this, when it very first came out, and it was the uh, spruce, it was the cedar dolman and tank. And then she split the two patterns up, so it was one, it was the dolman um, pattern as well as the uh, tank in one pattern. And since then, what have I done here? She has split those up. So now it's the spruce tank and the um, cedar dolman. But I love this pattern. So basically, it is just a tank, and it's got these gorgeous um, princess seams. Now, if you're familiar with cashmere at patterns, I'm at the very bottom of their size. Um, I made a 12 with a EF cup. So um, the size 12 is the smallest that they go with a CD cup. I did do the EF cup. Very pleased with how that turned out. It's fantastic for color blocking. It has a high neck version and then a V-neck version. But you're going to see I actually didn't make the V-neck version at all. And I'll show you what I did. And she has you finish things off with um, fold over elastic. This was the first one I made in this green athletic wear. And then the camouflage that goes on the side. Um, and then in the back it's the same. You've got the camouflage side panels and then the green I pulled my elastic too tight on this, um, so it made the armholes a little bit tight and also made the neckline just a little bit higher than what I oops, liked. So for the next version, which was this one, I went with the V-neck option, but instead of doing the V-neck, I just I redrafted it and made it a scoop neck, and I really like the way it's just easier to apply the... Um, uh, fold over elastic to be honest than having to do the v-neck um, and I was looking for ease so I made this out of the navy blue um, the same navy blue as that sports bra and then I had this fun fabric um, which is actually a swimwear fabric um, a lot of times you can interchangeably use swimwear fabric with um, athletic wear fabric um, they're very similar and I just used navy binding and it's the same these cute little panels on the back and then for my final tank Lots of hangers here. I did it out of this kind of psychedelic activewear print, which actually is not nearly as stretchy as I thought it was when I bought it. So I did um, all the same fabric, and this one only because it's just such a busy fabric. And um, I know this is a little more um, lime green than what you've got in the fabrics, but I really thought, I don't know, there's something about neon that just screams workout wear. So I did also the scoop neck on this one, just like I did on the navy one, used all the same fabric, but you still get the slimming effect, I think, because of the um, seams, uh, which kind of get lost just because it's such a busy, busy uh, print, of course. But I have some matching leggings that I made for this that we'll talk about on Tuesday. <laughs> so anyway, there we have that. So that was the cedar tank by, not cedar, spruce tank by, um, Cashmere, and then what went with that is the cedar dolman, and I made two of these. So this I made out of this wonderful um, merino poly blend athletic knit that just worked out beautifully, I think, for my workout tops. So I made in this gorgeous um, kind of a creamy white. Um, color, which is a, a good white for me. Um, I made the tie version on both of these. It's just a really easy dolman um, pattern. Now, I didn't choose, I did not face this one. Uh, there's a facing that goes on the neckline. I instead just did self binding on this one. And then for my second one, I used this beautiful kind of a um, green. I don't know, like a mossy, a pale mossy green. Also did the tie version on this one as well. But I did use the facing pieces. 
you know, just for, I just wanted to try them both. <laughs> so I did use the facing pieces for this. I think that this top is so flattering. Um, it's just a great over top to wear, especially with yoga. Um, you know, if you get hot or whatever. And it's nice, thin, and lightweight. It does wick because it's natural. And you may think, God, merino wool, really? Like, that sounds awful. But it's super thin, and merino is uh, naturally antimicrobial. So it's a fantastic thing for workout wear, um, and actually base layers too, if you're looking at base layers for um, warm weather and that sort of thing. I wasn't sewing for that in particular, but these would be great fabric for base layers, um, turtlenecks, and any kind of long sleeve shirt you want to wear under things. But yes, I made it in that color. Um, let's see. All right, the next pattern. Let's go with the Simplicity um, 8338. Is that right? I'll pop a picture of the pattern up here. <laughs> so the first one I made of this was the same fabric as that um, Cedar Dolman in this kind of white. So basically it's just your typical like real slouchy tank top meant to show off the sports bra, real low arms, um, you know, just a very loose tank top. So I made it in this white. I did self fabric for the bindings on this one. And, um, you know, I liked it, but kind of determined that it was a little too long. I needed to do a little bit of a petite adjustment. So even though the armholes are meant to be long, it was, it was like the, you know, the strap part was hitting me on the boob, whereas it needed to be up. So, you know, this one's fine. It'll get worn. It's a nice, easy tank top to throw on, especially in the warm weather. But I did go ahead and do a petite adjustment on that pattern and then made the same um, version. So there's three versions in this pattern. I actually only ended up making just the plain um, racerback version, but made the same version with the petite adjustment. And I used fold over elastic this time to do the binding on the armholes and neckline just for a little something different. And um, yeah, I do like the way that this one turned out. Very nice and loose, kind of gives you a lot of... Um, you know, forgiveness and stuff through the midsection. Now, the reason that I stopped and only made two of this pattern, I kind of thought I'd be making a lot, is because I do do a lot of yoga and Pilates where I'm inverted a lot of the time. And a loose tank top is just not conducive to that. If you've ever done either of those, you know that if you have something that's too loose on, um, it ends up going like up over your head and then you can't see and you're trying to like fight the shirt down. It's just not ideal. I prefer tight fitting tops. Um, when I'm actually doing yoga um, or the Pilates, uh, mostly yoga, um, the tight fitting garments. Now I do like a looser, maybe a looser top when I'm going to and from to like throw on over, um, which is why I kind of like some of these over shirts um, for that. Okay, um, next. Let's talk about, let's talk about, I made two new to me um, Ellie and Mac patterns. This is that same Poly, or poly merino blend, but in this beautiful rust color. And the first one I made, this is the back, I love this, it's the Good Workout Tank um, by Ellie and Mac. I just think it's just adorable. Um, I actually made this one as is, and I do need to do a little bit of a petite adjustment, I think, on this one for the same thing. The armholes are just a little bit too long. Um, but I just love the way that it finished off. I love the, like, the looseness, and then you can really easily see your sports bra in the back there that I think's a lot of fun. I planned on making more of these, but again, it was the same thing. This is a very loose fitting tank. So for, you know, for walking and that kind of thing, these are great. But for the yoga um, that the, my yoga studio is now doing virtual classes, which makes things really easy, um, I don't really like the looser tops just because, again, they go up over my head. <laughs> but I loved this color. I loved this color. So I got this top out of that, and then I also got... The Ellie and Mac ruched tee out of the same fabric. This is such a good pattern. It comes with a little, um, quite a few different body styles. So it's got a loose fit, a fitted fit, and a skinny fit. So depending on how tight you like to wear your shirts, um, you can choose any of them. I went with the loose on this one because I wanted to just try it out. I did the short sleeves. There's quite a few sleeve variations as well. And then it has this adorable ruched back. Um, which actually they were wearing it either way. You can kind of flip this t-shirt either way. And I used this pretty um, 
lilac, I guess, uh, velvet ribbon I had in my stash for the tie, just to add a little pop of something different. You know, just and I liked I liked those colors together. I thought that that was a fun little pop of color, something a little different on that. But I think that's just really cute. Um, and obviously, you can ruche it as much or as little as you want for whatever your um, um, comfort level is. But yeah, there were. Let's see, they come in a couple different lengths as well. Well, you can have the longer length. I think I did the longer length on this one. You could even do a cropped length if you want, like a tight-fitting shirt. Um, it comes sleeve. You can do sleeveless one as well. If you want one that just really sits right at your waist when it's ruched, very easy to do as well in a tight-fitting shirt. Um, tons of variations, though, for this pattern. So it's definitely a good one for, um, and not just for active wear, for everyday wear as well. Um, you know, depending on what your, your comfort level is. But I loved that little over shirt. And then, let's see, let's talk about this pattern. So this one was kind of a surprise to me. So I actually, um, and this one has a little fun um, sale going on today, but this is the La Bella Donna from Love Notions Patterns. They re-released it actually today. It's their Feature Friday pattern today, so it's $5 today only. So if you're watching this, I will have a link down to the pattern down below, but it is on sale for $5 today. Um, so definitely go have a look if you're interested. It has a cowl neck um, neckline, a regular neckline, and then a hooded neckline, uh, short sleeves, full length sleeves, three quarter sleeves, and then comes in a shirt or a tunic length. <laughs> Love Notions always has a million variations with their patterns. It's one of the things I really love about them. But I um, was selected to be the tester because they just re-released it today um, in their extended size range and on their new uh, block. So she asks for testers to help make sure that everything looks good. So I did test this one. And this is the one that I made first. Now, this I made a uh, Constellation hoodie actually that you'll see next Friday um, in my toppers video, but I had just enough fabric. I think I had two meters of this originally. This is a, a Merino tinsel blend sweatshirting that I got from the fabric store. Again, if the fabrics are still available, I will leave them linked down below. Um, but I was assigned the short sleeve version with the hood, and um, I hadn't intended to make it a workout wear, but I thought, oh, the hood. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that would be such a cute workout top. <laughs> So it got joined to the module and I had just enough of this fabric left over to make this little like a short sleeve sweatshirt, um, which is just perfect. It reminds me of like Rocky for some reason, like boxing, like with the hood up, but short sleeve, you know, the cut off, whatever. Um, I really like this and like the way that it turned out. I shortened the body on this one by two inches, which was perfect. And that's a typical thing I have to do with their patterns, inch and a half, two inches on the body um, just because of my height. Uh, anyway, short sleeve version. It has this cute little hood on the back. Um, yeah, just a great little top that I wasn't expecting even to be able to get uh, enough fabric for. So that was a very exciting thing. And I liked that so much that I actually ended up with my last color of this uh, poly merino knit fabric. I made another one, but this time I did the regular neckband and she just had, it's one of the neckbands that you just fold over. So I did um, knit stay tape in the, um, on the neckline and then just folded it over and cover stitched. But for this one I did the three quarter length which has just a nice elongated cuff. Um, it's kind of, it's a dolman style sleeve so it's very loosey goosey. I did the shirt again, but just yeah, shortened it by two inches, I think. This was a different block so she made a couple tweaks to the first one and then I made this one up just to test. But um, yes, extremely cute, a very, very cute top. And obviously doesn't have to be active wear, but I thought this would be a good throw over with leggings type of shirt for um, after yoga, that kind of stuff. If and when I can go back to the yoga studio. <laughs> so with that being said about me really wanting some tight fitting um, tops that are really better for yoga, just so they're not going up over my head constantly, I decided with my last three um, little bits of yardage left over that I would make three Summer Basics tank. I know you guys have seen this a million times. I just love this pattern. It's just a great tank top pattern, um, which works well for layering. And all, of, you know, really, these first two could be very easily layering. I don't have to wear them for active wear. They can be worn per normal. But I made one in kind of the um, sea blue. I like how kind of drapey they are too, just the nature of the fabric. A little different than my cotton spandex ones. And then I also had enough to make in the green. That's backwards. <laughs> I always put tags in these because they're hard to tell the front and the back. 
and then I did self fabric for the bindings on both of those. And then finally, I did the same pattern, but in the leftover camo knit, I had just enough for a tank top. But on this one, I decided to go with that fold over elastic again, just for something a little bit different. And I love the way that it turned out. Is that right? Yeah. Put the tag in there. So just a very simple, um, you know, tank top pattern that will fit and not ride up on me when I am in the down dog position. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. So those are all of the tops and sports bras that I made for active wear during June and July. Um, if you have any questions, you can definitely leave them in the comments down below. Um, let's see, on Tuesday, I'll be sharing the bottoms. I made two different bottom patterns and let's see, what did I make? Four bottoms total out of from two different patterns. And then next Friday will be my jackets. I made three different jackets or pullovers, whatever you wanna call them, toppers. <laughs> so that will be next Friday. Okay, that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, Sunday we start the B6674 Sew Along, so make sure you tune in for that. And, <coughs> excuse me, I need some water. <laughs> Other than that, have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get some sewing in, and I will see you then. Bye.